Would you like to grow your business with digital marketing? If you want to, which pretty much everybody does, you're gonna need to master these eight disciplines of digital marketing. Now, you don't necessarily have to master them. You can find people who can be on your team to master them, but if you have these eight areas down, you're gonna grow your business like crazy. So this is a great episode. If you're thinking about getting started with digital marketing, this will help you to really assess your strengths and your weaknesses and figure out who you need to add to your team to get it growing as best as possible. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Bershears. Welcome to my channel. I create daily marketing videos here, so if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, I cover everything from pay-per-click ads, to social media, to SEO, to email marketing, basically anything related to digital marketing and sales online, you'll be able to find information about it here. So if you wanna grow your business, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out by commenting on this video below. All right, so let's talk about your growth team for digital marketing. There's actually only about eight uh, elements or disciplines in digital marketing. And if you can get these eight elements down, you're going to be way better off than if you were just focusing on maybe only social media or you're not really sure what to do. So this kind of uh, is meant to be done as a um, exercise for you. So you might wanna list these down on a piece of paper. And then I would give yourself a rating from one to 10. 10 being the strongest and one being the weakest. Now let's talk about all of these different disciplines. I think that there are certain uh, kind of elements and, and ways you should go about this. And I'm gonna start with what I think is probably most important and then work backwards. So let's get started with number one. So number one is marketing and analytics data science. So if you don't have a strong understanding of where your sales are coming from or how to track and measure sales online with your digital marketing, you're gonna need somebody on your team who can do that. Now, this is a discipline all in and of itself because there are so many different aspects to it. If your business is very simple and you only have one way of generating clients, it's a lot easier to track and measure the effectiveness of your marketing. But once you start growing and scaling, it becomes even more important. That's why I'm listing this one first because when you're starting out, it's so important you're understanding what your return on investment is. Um, you're able to track and see what is successful. Marketing takes a lot of testing and trying things out. And if you don't know if something is working, you're not gonna be able to grow it or scale it. So you need to understand, first off, where are your sales coming from? What is your most effective ad mediums? What are the kinds of content that get the most engagement? All of these different things. And so depending on what stage of the funnel you're in is gonna depend on the objective and how you measure that. And especially once you start you know, integrating a CRM plus um, an online shopping platform or e-commerce tools, it becomes a lot more difficult to measure. So make sure you have analytics set up, and if you're not strong on it, find somebody who can help with your team. The next uh, discipline are building out strategy and conversion funnels. Now, once we have our measuring in place, we need to then drive a way for people to take offers. So all of the kind of top of funnel content that you're doing is gonna push it into a funnel, which will hopefully drive sales and clients and leads and all of that. But if you don't have the funnels in place, then all of the awareness marketing that you're doing isn't actually going to drive ROI. So that's why I say this is number two. So how are you with your business on a scale of one to 10 in creating strategy and creating funnels and creating sales processes that allow you to drive sales into your business? So important to get this down and it makes the difference between being profitable and going out of business. Number three is email marketing. Email is still extremely is still extremely important in 2019 and beyond. Having a list that you own, it's still like the primary workhorse of almost all businesses out there. And people say, well, email is becoming less and less effective. And while that is true, if you have a good email strategy, you're able to still get high open rates and really engage your clients and customers. And for my clients that I work with in my agency, email is still one of the most effective ways for us to sell consistently and not only sell but upsell and continue to re-engage customers so that we're able to reconvert them over and over again the next is content marketing how comfortable are you with creating content are you even creating content right now content is the lifeblood that helps to cast out a net of pe uh, over people to see who's going to be a, a potential client and customer it lets you segment your audience it lets you attract the right kind of people and if you don't have content marketing going on if you don't start you will likely go out of business because your competition is doing content marketing. 
if you haven't started content marketing, please, please, please start. This is somebody that you need to get on your team. You need to hire somebody to help make content for your business. I like the businesses that I work with to do content as much as possible in-house, just because you're able to really convey so much more personality. You're able to help um, get a lot more context with the customers. And if they see your face, if you're creating videos or blog posts or podcasts, they're able to build a relationship with you. So you're able to build relationships at scale automatically. Content is amazing. Please start content marketing. The next is social and community management. So there's actually a lot of aspects in social media. So we spoke about content marketing, but social media, just promoting and getting your word out there that you have content and this is what we're about. That's just one aspect of social media. Social and community management is extremely important because you're able to do all four aspects of social media, not just posting stuff all the time for people to consume, but there's actually four sections. I created a video about it. If you click the link up here on YouTube, if not, I'll go over it really quick for you. So we have social listening, we have social influencing, social networking, and social selling. Those are the four aspects of social media. It's not just about posting content. It's also about creating real bonds with people who can help to grow your business that you can also help as well. The next is digital ads. So you need people, and not only just people in general, but you need the right people to come to your business. You need the right people to see your ads. We need to figure out how's the best way, which is the best platform, what's the best search terms, what kind of stages of the funnel should we be finding people at. Digital ads is all about that. So from a scale of one to 10, how effective is your digital ad person? Are you feeling like you're building ROI on it? Do you even know if you have ROI on your ads? A lot of the business owners that I talk to, they have no clue because they don't have funnels set up. So make sure that you have all the analytics set up again. But once you have it set up, you're going to be able to hopefully hire somebody or have somebody working for you that's really, really skilled at ads. And it'll not only drive new clients and customers, but also be able to engage your current clients as well. And the last aspect is testing and conversion optimization. So once you have all of the other pieces in place, it's important that you're continuing to improve. You can always be improving. So adding tests to your marketing, testing new audiences, testing new platforms, growing new offers, all of this um, helps to grow your business and scale. People get tired of seeing the same ads over and over and over again. So you're gonna need to continue to improve and change your marketing and reach new customers and new clients. So I hope this was helpful for you. On a scale of one to 10, I think if you have anything that's like a six or lower, it's something that you should be focusing on. So what is the areas that you're good at and what are you trying to improve? I would love to know. Comment below, let me know what areas you would love to improve on. For myself, I love doing paid ads. I love doing testing and optimization. I love creating offers. I love creating content too, but I do this for a living. And so I feel lucky that I get to do it every day. But if you have any questions, you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to comment below. You can also send me an email at brandon at maverickdigitalmarketing.com. If you wanna grow your business with digital marketing, be sure to head on over to maverickdigitalmarketing.com. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.